National Institute of Mental Health Electroshock Treatment Conference, June 10 through 12, 1985, videotaped by Donald Johnson, digitized August 2007 by Donald Johnson. June 12, 1985, Disc 2A, Corrections, Questions, and Comments, Dr. Peter Bregan. The procedure now is for us to discuss the first question, which is a question of the statement I have to say. If you raise your hand, I will call on you. As Dr. Jacoby indicated, our, one of our major goals this morning is to have some feedback as agreements and disagreements from the individuals who provide us ex uh, expert testimony during the course uh, of the uh, session yesterday and the day before, as well as the other individuals who disagree with our uh, conclusions. Would you raise your hand and then I can punch you? Yes, sir. Yes, Dr. Brigham. Uh, in regard to what uh, Dr. Sackham said, uh, what you're saying in your report is more consistent with conventional wisdom in psychiatry, and I don't think that one or two studies out of several thousand should change the conventional wisdom, even though I would rather not even see the conventional wisdom that's so highly promoted. Uh, I think there's a basic consistency between using terms like most convincingly to describe the effect of the treatment when in the earlier paragraph you have clear, so clearly uh, noted that the effect doesn't last beyond the four weeks, as far as you know. Uh, I think that your analytic description is more accurate than your conclusive, concluding evaluation. I would like to see inserted that those four weeks are the weeks of delirium. That is, if the only study to show any effect in ECT, this is critical, the only study to show any effect in ECT, show an effect during the period of delirium. And if you were measuring any higher emotional response, not just depression, but the ability to love, the ability to have a religious experience, the ability to work, the ability to take care of your children adequately during that four-week period, they would all be reduced, not just depression, so that there is a, a mis-emphasis here in, in the statement. In fact, during those four weeks, the patients are often incompetent. They don't want to respond to that yet. Well, we have said in our report that there have no, not been any studies which have used outcome measures of quality of life and social functioning, and we urge that those are the types of studies that should be done. We've emphasized that it's the outcome during the four weeks is reduction of symptoms would seem to be documented in those studies. Uh, the reason that there's no data beyond four weeks is that studies are only done for four weeks. And after four weeks, the patients in, the, in both treatment groups have gotten other treatments and therefore it's not possible to evaluate. Copyright Donald Johnson. Permission is granted to copy, distribute, and or modify this document under the terms of the GNU Free Documentation License version 1.2 or any later version published by the Free Software Foundation with no invariant sections, no front cover texts, and no back cover texts. Videotaped, edited, and produced by Donald Johnson.